Hey everybody, this is Greg here at Nelson Construction. I wanted to talk about uh, design build. A lot of people don't know what design build means. Um, design build is when a contractor can work with a client and be the middleman with the architect to create a project that fits within a budget and to help design it both structurally and aesthetically so that it's what you want within your budget. A lot of people uh, come to Nelson Construction, they have their drawings already done and that's fine and we'll put it through estimating and we'll submit a proposal. People will get their drawings from their architect and then they'll go to various builders to get proposals or uh, contracts from the builders to build the, to execute the drawings to build the house and they'll find out uh, that the proposals uh, might have some variables in them uh, due to the drawings being a little weak as far as detail goes or they're in the most cases all the bids or some of them are wildly outside of their budget. And the reason this happens is, is because there's a certain amount of transparency that's not happening between the client and their architect. The architect, a good architect, is one that will actually be concerned about budget. An architect should discuss budget with you. They should be able to direct you, um, for instance, if you say you want to build a 5,000 square foot home and you've only got $100,000, the architect that's a good architect is going to stop you from doing that and they're not going to give you a 5,000 5, square foot house when they know you've only got $100,000. However, um, not every architect is like that. They will take whatever you have in your mind and they will draw whatever you want for a fee and give you those drawings and then you own those drawings. And then you go and get your bids and then it's wildly outside of your budget. So then the next thing you have to do is you're going to have to figure out either A, how to get more money to do what it is that's on the drawings or B, cut it back to what your actual budget is. Uh, a lot of times that consists of going back to your architect and getting your plans revised which is an additional fee. Uh, this can be a very frustrating process for a lot of people that have never built a house before or undergone a major renovation of any kind. So that is the common way that people start on this road of doing a large construction project. 